Welcome to Rory Academy YouTube channel where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology. Dope Semiconductors The thermal equilibrium density of electrons and holes can be changed by adding appropriate impurity atoms to the semiconductor. In the case of silicon, the appropriate impurities are elements from column 3 of the periodic table, such as boron, or from column V, such as phosphorus. Elements such as boron have only three electrons, valence electrons, available for bonding to other atoms in a crystal, and thus when boron is introduced into a silicon crystal, it needs an additional electron to bond to the four neighboring silicon atoms. The boron will very quickly acquire or accept the needed electron from the silicon lattice by capturing a free electron. This immobilizes a free electron and leaves a hole free to move through the crystal. The result is that the silicon now has more free holes, now termed majority carriers, than free electrons, now termed minority carriers. The silicon is said to be doped p-type with an acceptor impurity. Column V elements, such as phosphorus, have five valence electrons but only four are needed for bonding in a silicon lattice. Such atoms are easily thermally ionized when placed in a silicon crystal and the fifth electron becomes free. The resulting positive charge on the donor impurity represents a trapped or bound hole. Electrons are now the majority carriers and holes are the minority carriers. The silicon is said to be doped n-type. The impurity levels commonly used in semiconductor devices are orders of magnitude smaller than the density semiconductor atoms. Are orders of magnitude smaller than the density semiconductor atoms. Thus, the presence of impurities in a semiconductor will not affect the rate at which covalent bonds are broken by thermal ionization and subsequently refilled by free electrons, electron hole recombination. This means that the product of the thermal equilibrium electron density, now termed N0, and the thermal equilibrium hole density, now termed P0, must still equal Ni, square even though P0 and N0 are no longer equal. The above relationship is sometimes called the law of mass action or the principle of detailed balance. A doped, extrinsic, semiconductor is electrically neutral even though N0 is no longer equal to P0. The positive charge per unit volume in the extrinsic material is the sum of the hole density P0 and the ionized donor density ND, whereas the negative charge density is the sum of the electron density N0 and the ionized acceptor density Na. The space charge neutrality condition in the general case where both donors and acceptors are assumed to be P0 plus ND equals N0 plus Na. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to this channel for your weekly videos.